Okay, this is gonna be an angry rant video. I'm about to get angry about toys. Coming up after this. Okay, I am getting super frustrated with the adult collector market. This has been happening for some years. I think back when the Masters of the Universe line first came out, the Canadian dollar was much better initially, and at some points, the prices were actually cheaper for me to buy the figures in Canada because the Canadian dollar was so good. Recently, and it's been over a few years now, this is the longest I in my lifetime, I'm pretty sure, that the Canadian dollar has been this bad. The toys are so much more expensive. Adult collector toys are so much more expensive anyway, and it's just pushing me to that limit where it's driving me crazy. Let me just show you this though, that we will be getting to this. I had to take his wings out of this Create a Superstar box because look how awesome these are. I hope that they re-release these and use this sculpt. Mattel doesn't like to use sculpts over and over again. For some reason, I think it's a legal thing. They used to do it all the time. Now they just redesign something that doesn't have to be redesigned and I don't know why they do it. <laughs> okay, so adult collector toys are ridiculous and they're just getting more and more and I know adult collectors are paying these prices. I am starting to feel like a failure as a human being because I can't afford the prices of the toys. I want to get value for my money and I can't. I can't get the things that I want to. I kind of also realize that the things that I really want aren't what they're offering to the adult collector too, so I'm, I'll get into that a little bit. Something that I talked about briefly in probably a couple other videos was that Masters of the Universe really is a toy line directed to really, really young kids. And I think that's pretty much the only market that we're really selling toys to nowadays. We're selling them to adults and we're selling them to babies. If you're, I'm sorry if you're a baby, you're a big boy, it's okay. I mean, I'm talking big boy babies. Don't, don't start crying because I called you a baby but they really are toddler toys. I was drawn to Masters in the Universe because of the bright colors and because it was so chunky and stocky and cute. Hunky, chunky toys. Big hunks of plastic. That's what I loved then, back in the 80s when they came out. They bring in this, I call it a McFarlane feel with the black washes and like spawn. And that's kind of what seeped into this realistic, world and it's funny because the part that I do love about Masters of the Universe was that it was so dark and creepy but at the same time it was cute cute stocky monsters but I like that 70s influence that we saw in the original comic books and art the Elkala stuff was awesome, and I am the first storybook mini-comics, not the ones that were actual comic books. That is my Masters of the Universe. So I'm happy when they came out with the Origins line and everything, but it's not really an Origins line. That's a bad title, and that's another beef that I have right now in that community, is that they're calling it Origins. Nowhere on the packaging is it called Origins. And I think because we have seen changes in the face sculpts and everything, I think they are making it to go with the new cartoon, one of the new Netflix cartoons that are coming out. And I think that's why we saw the change in Tila's face and Man in Arms mustache, because it has to reflect the media that's out there. So I think that's why we're seeing the changes there. I don't remember the prices I paid for these things, the Masters of the Universe Classics, which it actually says classics on Masters of the Universe Classics, on the Masters of the Universe Origins. It doesn't say Origins on it, it's just Masters of the Universe. Their Instagram handle is even Masters, and that is what I like to call Masters of the Universe, especially the new one, and that's what I want to call it going forward, is Masters. I'm liking what I'm seeing, and just today, I went to a few Walmarts, and to see these WWE figures on the shelves, they had like eight of them at some stores, and it felt so good to see that they were so stacked up, and then they'd have 
five of the ring play sets. Well, not that ones with the Dulux figures. Canada did not get the first wave. I think it has to do with these viruses that are going around. We also did not get the ring with the other two figures, with the bundle, but I did order that on Amazon because I kind of felt like that was a holiday exclusive for Walmart in the States exclusively, so we didn't see that. These are still too much money, so that's something else that this video is about. These cost 20 bucks in Canada. I think they're 15 in the States. That's compared to another product by Mattel. You can get this doll, this Barbie doll, for five dollars. And I can customize this, I can do all kinds of crazy things to this. For value, I mean, look at the amount of plastic to this amount of plastic. In many ways, they're, they're dressed the same. I can get different styles of these. Value is a big part of toy collecting too. I'm about uh, what's out there for children and I am a child myself. Again, I like the biggest thing I can get that's bright and colorful and I mean, I have to like it. I don't like delicate things. I don't want the thing to break. So I want a sturdy, hardy toy. I do buy these. 20, I do feel is acceptable. The Masters of the Universe Classics figures, when they went over to Super 7, that's when I stopped subscribing and getting everything. I got everything up until Maddie was over and Super 7 began because the prices of shipping went up even more plus I have to pay taxes and duties on that. Each figure was gonna cost me around $60 for a figure not much more detailed than this. So a figure that you would pay around $15 in retail in Canada was costing me $60. And I was paying that price and it wasn't much cheaper than that with Maddie right before the switch over either. And I was paying that and I kind of regret it. I do have those, some of those over here on the wall. Let's take a look at some of the other toys. Masters of the Universe Classics rarely went on sale. I mean, sometimes it showed up in like closeout stores and it made people really angry because of the prices that they paid. I mean, they had holiday specials and things like that, but you rarely got a chance to get the stuff on a good deal. And now the stuff's very expensive on eBay. I have no idea how much I paid for these. I, I, I'm assuming I paid, this was earlier in the line, so maybe I got a better deal on this. Uh, this, I don't know. Was it $100? I don't know. See the black wash and everything? It's a cool looking toy. It's not bad. I don't want the black washes on it. How much did I pay for this? I got this on clearance at Target when I visited for $8. Yeah. So I can get a Griffin like this for probably $100, or I can get this for, let's say, $10 after exchange. I like the way that this one looks better. That's cool. But Mysticons was a short-lived toy line made by Spin Master. Oh, Playmates. Spin Master and Playmates are like the same thing in Canada, if you don't know that. It's a distribution thing. It's like Ninja Turtles for girls, I think was what they were going for. They weren't Ninja Turtles, but they were, I don't know, princesses or something. But I have these two really cool griffins that are pretty awesome and I like how more cartoony they are. So those are really cool. And I got this for eight dollars from Little Tykes and this was Kingdom Builders. Now I've had some problems with these. I mean I thought that they were cute initially. The screws and the bolts don't stand very well but that's Battle Cats. <laughs> Come on you can ride them. You can put the figures on. The fact that I can get this for $7 or I can spend hopefully a lot now because I'm going to sell this. Hopefully I can get 300 bucks for it or something crazy like that. Now here's a play line that I'm really happy that existed. Create a superstar and I did collect these. I didn't realize that they had the same torso size as Masters of the Universe, the original ones. And now that I know this, I'm happy that I did collect these. And one of the best sets is definitely this set because of the wings, but you get all kinds of other ones, gladiator sets, and I love these. Because it was Mattel making these, I was hoping that what if one day they did that for Masters of the Universe? Lo and behold, we have that coming this fall. I'm really excited. $20 a figure. 
not bad. I can definitely pay that. That's totally acceptable compared to the $60 that I'm paying for each one. Even the Super 7 5.5s, which were in the filmation animation style. I like those. I did not like the cartoon. Like I said, I was a original Masters of the Universe fan. I liked the creepy 70s vibe that it had when it initially came out. But I like bright, colorful toys, so I was totally okay with that line and I had to get it just because they look just like the 5.5 figures from the 80s. Anyway, I geeked out enough. I'm gonna do probably another video pretty soon with these sets, which are really awesome. There was another one of these that was, I think, a referee set. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten that. Um, I wish I would have gotten more of these now that I know. Some of them I passed on. I don't think there's much interchangeability with that, but the accessories are really cool. I'm gonna sell all of my beasts and vehicles and other larger things, I think, but I think I'm gonna keep my figures, even though I don't really like them because of the black wash and the realism and they're not the 5.5 figures that I love. Yeah, I just don't like them as much. I don't like the articulation. I don't like the articulation on these either. It takes away from the sculpt sometimes, but I have discovered that if you put them in the right pose and I don't move them around, that they can look like your original toys. Most of the time when they show them in prototype pictures, they have the legs straightened out and there is something a little off and they don't look right. But when you put them in that position, you're getting the figure that I know and love. So that is how I'm gonna keep all my toys and I'm not gonna move their appendages. I love that you can take apart their arms and their legs. And with these create a superstar sets, you can actually fit in some of the appendages, like the arms will fit in. It's not a perfect fit, the heads fit on from the classics and they've been using the weapons from the classics. I like that and I like that I can use these weapons from here. So these are a lot of fun to mix and match and that part is so awesome. I'm so glad and I think it's genius to release the WWE figures which are flying off the shelves here in Canada. They're, as soon as they show up they're gone. So that's great. I mean, they've only just started today, as far as I know, in mass quantities. So we're getting like eight at each store. But I'm gonna open up this set today and I'm gonna continue on because I ripped the wings out of this so I could have a really cool thumbnail with this. Look at this wing harness set. That is so epic awesome. There was another set that had white wings, I think. The Gladiator set is also really cool. Let me crack this open, and if you manage to stay through all of my ranting and raving and complaining and anger, did I say, I'm really mad at myself here because I'm at this point in my age where I should be able to afford anything I want, no problem, and I can't. Like, I wish that it was like, price is no object, but price is an object, and I still have to worry about getting value for my money. So in this box, we get, let me take off this harness, the quality of this harness and the fact that it's so much like Masters of the Universe, I can't believe I never noticed before. I'll show you in a second. So this is a more deluxe set. I guess this was the standard size set. And these are the more deluxe sets. It came with a little jacket that you can put on the figures. Look at how totally Masters of the Universe that harness is. And it's wings that can go on anybody. That is so cool. They're the same sort of size, but they're just squished down. This would have been awesome for me to open up with Sting because Sting was released in the first wave of the WWE figures. I did not get it. I hope I'm gonna be able to get it. Something that I don't understand what they don't do with these is they don't separate them at the ball joint in the hip and I find that really bizarre. You can do this if you apply heat to these. You are able to take their legs off but they're not meant to be detached. They're supposed to only be detached at the waist and you can at the boot. You have those options and the boots actually from these do fit on to the figures. And that makes them a little bit taller because the boots are 
a bit taller. Like I said, the arms do fit, but they're a much narrower arm and they don't really fit into the shape, but they, they, they kind of do. I never tried putting the, no, the newer arms don't fit into this one, but that would give them even bigger arms. That would be cool. So these are fun to mix around too, because you can change the heads and the torso changes. It is not the same connector at the waist though. So yeah, now he looks very funny. The coat you can put on by taking off his arms and squeezing his torso into here. And they don't look very good. There's a few coats that I have, and I guess they're not really the right length for them. Actually, this one looks pretty okay. Wait a minute here. This leg came off the joint. Oh yeah, the leg is off in there. I was under the impression that you couldn't do that, and that's probably the coolest thing, because then you do have the loincloth, because that's a huge problem that you can have this turn into a loincloth. Wow, that is so much better. Maybe I should try to take off these ones. I don't want to break a $20 figure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't. You can see inside there, maybe you can. There's a lighter figure. That there are ball joints inside, but as far as I know, you cannot take those off without applying heat. Put his regular arms back on. So that is what he looks like with the trench coat. Let me put on his regular shoes. Some of them are even too long to go on, like this one, which the cape goes down further than the actual legs do. But yeah, that just kind of makes him look silly when he has that on, kind of looks like Wildor. But really, the most epic, awesome, wonderful piece in all of this is in fact, and gee, do I wish I had the Sting figure right now, well, you know what? I'm gonna actually put it on the guy who should have wings, even though it doesn't really match his color scheme. And he has one of my favorite torsos to date because, as you can see, he's got no cuffs or any markings or paint on him. He's the first guy to have a total bare upper body, so that's a really versatile piece, despite his head. This guy actually would have looked great in the wings. Triple H kind of made for that. I can put Triple H's bottom half on here though, even though the legs are a different color. But look at how cool that is. <laughs> One of the best pieces. And it's got this club in this set too. So I can't wait to get more of those out of the package and mix and match and have a lot more fun. Hours of entertainment. I'd love if you weighed in on all of my complaints down below or say your opinion. Mostly I do blame myself out of all of this because I'm the one that it's not in the financial position to be able to collect everything that I want to collect. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy and grateful because there are so many toys still out on the market and there's lots of baby toys that I can get and that's where my money's gonna go. Like Super 7 lost me and I'm not sh sure how many other people it affected. The more they do this, the more I'm gonna buy more and more toys that I can get for a good price and ignore that stuff. In reality, my dream is that they strip things down. Less paint apps, the better for me. I like the simplicity of a toy. I like a toy to look like a toy. So when they strip them down to save money on production, that makes me happy. The price is lower and the toy looks better to me. I think what Mattel should be focusing on is baby, 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 because the adult collectors who are the biggest babies of all can never be pleased anyway, and children don't care. They just want something that's bright and colorful and that they can just clobber around and play with. That's what I want too. I gotta get open some of these Griffins too. Let me know if you wanna see these Griffins opened and played with the 5.5 line as well. Like, comment, share, and subscribe guys. I love you so much. We'll see you next time. $20, $5, $20, $5. What's wrong with this picture? Who do you think's gonna win in a fight? Really, who do you think's gonna win? Super cool head sculpt, by the way. Here's something else that I noticed. They weren't designed to stand like this, so the problem that people have with the tiny little underwear showing so much 
lag is because that the lags are fully extended. When you put them in the Masters of the Universe crouched lag position, see how all of that nakedness goes away? They're supposed to be in this stance. That is the stance that they're supposed to, but they have articulation for, you know, dynamic poses. They're not supposed to have their legs spread out like this, and thus revealing a little too much. These created WWE Superstar sets came with tattoos, too, that you could put on your figures, but I would never do something like that. Cool, though. Thumbnail. Ah!